Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and wow, that sun is bright. There I am, and uh, welcome back to Farming Simulator 17, Goldcrest Valley, and I've advanced it a couple of days to get these fields ready to harvest. Well, this is still the oilseed radish over here. We may never get to that one. Boy, it's taken a long time, but we did get the poplars going. That's important. But I did switch the plant growth to fast. So hopefully, before we're too far along, this will be ready to uh, to go as well. And I have moved the uh, quite a few tractors in place to do different things this episode. For one, I think we're going to go ahead and cut this road into here. Well, it looks like fog is starting to settle in. And the morning dew, a morning mist. But uh, the plow can be used to basically create a field and I'm thinking we'll just put uh, we'll cultivate some some plowed dirt through there and clean up any mistakes with this guy and then cultivate it kind of comb it with this guy so that it looks kind of like this not quite did finish off the uh, the sugar beets so that I, I finished that one through the night trying to wait for the fields to uh, uh, to get ready to harvest so if I can zoom out far enough I can't there's a big mountain of it right here there we go so I filled all that up I don't know what we're gonna do with it yet it was mostly just to just to see it happen but let's dive in I guess I am in let's get into cab fire that up okay so how best allow create fields why I'm gonna get outside of here so why is the trigger for that guy? Let's turn that off, go forward. Let's fire up all lights. I've already run the tool, the, uh, the flattener over there, the, the roller, on here to kind of give myself a pathway. And it essentially recreates any ground to its new state. In this case, grass new, doesn't have any growth to it. Um, it would be nice, let me drive over there, have this road curve off to be able to easily use this that's something that we would probably use a lot it's either that one or you know that one right over there you know the center of that next bay though that's a little bit too far off oh well straight would look better though even though it doesn't line up with where it kind of lines up with right in between the two bays right into a cement pillar but let's see about, let me go back far enough to be able to really spot where I'm going. So, over here. Now, is that pretty well straight? Let me follow the, the end of the plow there. That feels decent. Although, as I go downhill, I can see it's starting to veer off and turn a little bit on its own. So I'm still going to have to manually do this. But let's get out to about here and V and Y. There it is. It just turned to black soil under there. I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can see the rest of the road here and kind of compare that. I think that's okay. Now, are we actually driving straight? I cannot hire a worker here because... Right? Hire? No, it thinks it's done. Yeah. So, V. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do this one manually. And i got to turn it back to Y to create field. There we go. So I've already missed one furrow on this side. Back there. There, and if I were to turn real quick... Yeah, I like that. So, I'll take you up in the air. I like that because of back over here. The original road isn't just a, a T. You know, right here. It kind of... Uh, let me get over there. can't point. But it kind of snips off the corners right here. As it makes the turn. A little more realistically. So I want to do that here as well. Uh, we do have to clean up that one run over there, but let's see if we can get this side going. Now, from here, it pretty much lands just beyond the tractor wheel. OK. 
Okay. Something like that. Now, can I keep this straight? Kinda. And kinda not. Alright. Now, if I were to back up, if I turn into this, the plow goes the other yeah, it doesn't snip the corner, it actually goes away from the corner. So if I turn back in... Yeah, something like that. Okay. It doesn't matter that the plow marks are not straight. Because we're going to be cultivating it and cleaning it up that way. Bring you up in the air, let's go see what the other side looks like. And I guess we'll run this middle as well. Clean up the edges. Check out the, the overall width. It may be a little too wide over there on the left side. That fog is not helping. It's really not. Now, if I were to snip off this way... Oh, that was too much. Okay. Well, I think I've done enough damage with that. Let's go put him away. Now, uh, hit Y to... Oops, not T. Y. To turn that off. Right over there, and just park you. Um, park you this way. We'll use your headlights. There we go. Now, let's grab the roller and kind of clean this mess up. Now, what do we do here? Oh, I didn't actually snip off the other corner. Okay. Um, something like, oops, turn this way, in like that. Where is this side? Can I see it at all from back here, or is it too foggy? What is the proper width? I'm thinking it's the path right here. Uh, pull in here. About like so. What does that look like? No, let's... Well, actually, it's kind of blending the two, isn't it? Okay, let's stop there. What's it look like? Doesn't look like I did much, huh? Now yeah, we'll leave that. Let's clean up this edge over here, get back to our brown dirt. Though I don't want to get too close, we'll get some of the green of the grass starting to show up again. Let's clean up at least this swath here. I can do that a little bit better. Let's get it a little bit closer, right in there. One last row out of that. Yeah, I think so. Alright, back to the other side now. Um, tell you what, let's line it up, but let's grab the plow and repair that other corner first. Something right there. Now, how best to nip that? About like that. Yeah, right in there. Actually, it looks like I could go a little bit deeper. Yeah, that's better. Okay. V, Y, right? It does look like it wants that one little bit of green cleaned up. Easier said than done, but... I 
right in there. Okay, well, I gotta kick him over a little bit further. Oh, I hit Y. Err. Try it again. Right there. V, Y. Now we'll start cutting into that again. It's not getting it. Back up a little. And actually, it's back up like that. Right there. Nope, it's not. That grass just wants to stay. Alright, V, Y. Let's put you away. We're done. Let's clean this up. So this is the only way that I know of to kind of simulate making a road. It's certainly not uh, the best way. I mean, it's not uh, super efficient. And it's not going to give us the road texture that I would really like to have. V. But it's something. You happen to stop. Oh, you're not stopped. Let's see. Let's just stop there. V. I can't talk and do this. Not wired that way. So we're not going to be truly even here. But I was going to say, if you happen to get a really big field and it's just too much, you could take something like this and bisect it. Cut it up into smaller ones. Right there, V. Alright, what'd that look like? Eh, not too bad. And the other side is looking pretty good, too. So, let's just snip this across right about there. Hopefully there isn't any grass that shows up. Eh, some did. Yeah, some did. Well, we might just have to live with that. There, let's back into this. Stop. And let's back into this. Alright. So, lift you up. Put you... Eh, right over here. And let's grab the cultivator. Let's see about cleaning up the furrows into something that's somewhat in between the texture of a plowed field. Let's see, back up and a, the, and the road texture. All right, V, lights and drive. This side, do it again. Snag all of that. There we go. So it's not the right color brown, but it's not as deep and furrowed as you see here. So that's the closest thing to a happy medium that I know of. I wish I could come in with a gravel. Maybe another, a newer, future version of this game will allow you to change the map textures in this way. You know, take your roller over there and, and swap it out between different... Uh, different ground textures. That would be a great addition. In fact, that'd be a great mod. I wonder if someone will come up with something like that. Alright, so when this mist goes away and the sun comes up, we can take a look at this and see what we think. For now, though, we've got something else to do. Because while I was waiting for that field to uh, get ready to harvest, uh, turn you off. Let's actually drop you down and lights off. This happened. Where'd it go? Let me move that over. That's interesting. 
it went away after I saved. This was a, um, a great demand for yarn. Instead, we have a great demand for canola, and that's not a great price. We, well, no, I take it back. These are the ones who are selling in the 1700 range. 15 to 17. All the prices are depressed. But we do have wool over here. It's sitting at a pretty good price. You know, let's not. Since it didn't happen, I, I, for some reason that went away. Um, let's pull out of this and let's just go off to what uh, what we've been waiting for, was, which is the poplars over here. Where are you? There you are. So that is the Voltra. That's that's the newest tractor. And these are the poplars. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to record the stage right in between. They were about half this height and looking like little little poplar trees. But uh, this is the uh, the dried version ready for wood chipping. So this is what they look like to harvest. And they are let me pop out of this. They are taller than than I am. So what do you say about eight nine feet tall? They're pretty significant, considering how tall these tractors truly are. I mean, I'm about the height of that, that tire right there. So that's probably 10 feet tall, and so that's 9 to 10 feet-ish. Something like that. So that is the goal this time. I decided not to go for the uh, Field 5. I decided to go ahead and wait and and do this harvest over here and, and then get the potatoes going. I do want to save Field 5 for the last episode. But I did pick up this guy. I had a lot of time waiting for this. In fact, you know, we're, we're still waiting for for this one. That has taken so long. Ah, we're right in between stages here. That's interesting. Uh, if I pull out and go back in. Yep, yeah, we're just in the transition, apparently. That one reset. This It's happening over here now. Are you going to... There, that reset now. So it starts to to harvest at the, apparently this corner of the map and works its way this way. We're now over here doing the harvest. And it's still working on that one. But this one, I need to go to dark green. Really do. Anyway, picked up while I was doing all that waiting the New Holland Harvest Wagon. Is that what we're calling it? Let's, let's look that up. You are... Harvest, uh, forage harvester. That's what I want to say. This guy right over here. So, forage harvesters process the indicated fruit type. So, wood chips, I'm thinking. What's the other one? Um, basically, you can silage it. I can't think of the name of it now. And then, boy, I, I wish there were pop up names for these symbols. I don't get into a lot of these symbols enough to keep them memorized. I'm pretty sure that's wood chips. But, uh, will it give me a hint here? It will not. Basically, you can use this guy and, um, let's see here, back, get into these to mow or to take off um, corn and, I want to say sunflowers, at least corn. Yeah, it's just corn. This guy does a poplar. And then you can silage what uh, silage the result of it. But this is the guy that does the poplars. And it's the only one that I know of short of... Is he here? No, he's back here. This one right here. Which is kind of like what we went through with the... Uh, uh, doing the, the sugar beets. One tiny little row after a row and... and you know, it, it's this is going to be so much faster for us. Let's put it that way. But it's also the most expensive route, so I've leased all of these, and here it is. I picked up uh, the IT runner, took off the logging bed, put the big cargo bed on it, and what's interesting, whether you've got this attached or you are with a couple of tippers and a tractor, and you're riding alongside the chute over here, the pipe. It tracks you like it knows you. It's, it's real interesting to watch. But uh, that thing just aims. If there's a tipper anywhere nearby, it swings over and aims at it like it's going to shoot a, a football field across to try to land in it. But let's get this guy going and see how it works. Pop into here. Actually, it's not. Let's get out here where we can see it. 
V? No, let's switch over to the other one in V. No. Where am I at? Oh, down there. I am several away. There we are. You drop down. B turns you on. Right there. And you think you're already driving, don't you? Now look inside there. The bottom, you've got saw blades down there that cut off the, uh, the stalks. Right here in the center, it's grabbing them and ripping them into the center, into that, uh, oh, looks like three different uh, rollers of blades inside that chews it all up and spits it out here into there. Let's see this happen in, in, uh, in action. Now, can I take two? It's meant to take one. I think I've got to take just one. Okay. In fact, let's hire this out so that we can pop outside and see what's going on. So let's grab them and just running them through that shredder in there, spitting it all out into here. Boy, that's a strong uh, path right there. And barely see it, but we're starting to fill up and go a little further. In fact, how loud is that? Hopefully you guys can hear me. Now, I don't remember how big this tipper is. Where would that be? Would it be tippers? I think it would. The IT runners. We recolored that as brown. That's right. So you're going to handle 45,000. The, uh, the big ones we've got handle 21, so a little more than twice that. Back and back. Basically, and you're not turning your lights on. Because you're not accounting for fog. I see. Zoom in. And you're just going to roll through here and snip them all off for us. Turning them into wood chips, which I'm going to just sell. There, that's quieter. I'm going to sell them. I'm not going to store them. We could dump them on the ground. And come back with a front loader later and deal with them. Did we fill up? What happened here? You had problems, didn't you? Um, pop outside. Yep, you couldn't handle that last little bit. Interesting. I wonder what he was going to be able to do. Yeah, you're just going to make a bit of a mess, aren't you? Okay. Tell you what. Unhire. Let's clean up the uh, the end of the field here. Don't really plan on doing much more this episode, but this I can't make this turn, can I? I gotta go all the way out here. Well, I can if I wanted to back it up, but I'm I'm being lazy right now. Kind of late at night. I just got finished recording uh, episode two of Northgard. So Northgard has just hit the channel. Wanted to, I want to keep this series going until I get it finished, which isn't that many more episodes. Not a lot of folks are watching it, but I'm enjoying making it anyway. Um, fire you up, and let's just drive this ourselves. Boy, kind of uh, mesmerizing there with all these bursts. Nobody uh, has, a, has the risk of seizures. That's what it feels like. It's... Uh, going to induce here. Um, yeah, so Northgard is on the channel now, and took a couple of days to make the, the channel intro to that one. If you watch the first 30 seconds of uh, episode one, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'll start each video with, uh, with that little segment. But um, next I've got to make something of that quality for the game track so I can get that series going, the, the official series of it. Uh, B, that's what I'm looking for. And then I want to do the same thing for the Ice World for Craft the World and get recording that again. So three essentially new series coming out. And I would love to get back into uh, uh, the next you know, Platinum Edition of this game, but we'll see when we get to November if I've got too much on my plate or not. The plan was to do it, but things do change. I'm going to do one more pass, I'm, I'm guessing, and then we'll let the, uh, uh, the hired hand continue. 
We're at 11,000 right now. And the capacity of the tipper back there. There we go. So, one more? Or is that enough? You know, that might be enough. Let's take you around. The exhaust dumping out of there. Let's take you around and try to start you up again. Where am I? There I am. Oh, go back. Back, let's do that. Right there and higher. Let's see what you do here. Okay. At the other end, there should be no problem. Can I? How do I get back there? Thinking shift tab. There you are. I left this guy here because I figured I'd have to drive the uh, the IT runner out of here quite often. Kind of like the uh, the the sugar beets. We're gonna. We're going to create an awful lot of volume out of this field. And let's take it directly out out there to the sawmill and sell it off and come back and then let him do it again. But what else is there to be doing while we're waiting? Because that guy's kind of loud to have on the screen all the time. Um, that is still the third stage, I'm pretty sure. What else is going on? Could get some cultivators going just to kind of clean things up, even though we're not going to plant them. Just to add his filler. It's going to be a while. Let's see. Tab three times. 15,000. Yeah. Let's go forward till we get back out here on the farm. Right there. Let's get you going. And let's see. Lift you up. Say in this one. Right there. And higher. And just let you do your thing there. Though we do need to move him. He will eventually be in the way. Let's go put this plow away. Actually, just the front lights. Whoa. Yep. A little bit of weight back there. Upper H is blocked by an... Oh, okay. Um, I need to get forward to the Voltra. There you are. You want... Oh, you want all that gone. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's go clean this up. Whoops, brakes, the other brakes. Okay, and here. There we go. Is that enough? Or is the log on the ground an object? Nope, that's enough. Okay. So let's put you over in here. I'm sure nobody will steal it. Alright, something like that. And he seemed to do a pretty good job at this end. Yeah, we're not leaving any behind. Okay, now turn you off and where was I and where are you at? Let's see, three? We're at 18. We got a long way to go. So let's head back over to you. There we go. Put you away. And what? Big cultivator? Big cultivator is not here. Uh, oh no, 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 I'm thinking the big plow. Cultivator is there. Alright, you drop in about like so. Q forward. Big cultivator. There we are. And what should you be doing? Actually, there's more room here. Oops. Backwards is backwards. There we go. There is more room in this field for this guy. Although he will need a weight. We've run into that problem before. So, drop you, grab the weight and hopefully catch that tractor at this end next time and we'll let him do that field instead. I think the smaller one will turn around over there at the trailer uh, shed much easier. 
then the big one. Speaking of big one, which weight? I think they're the same, aren't they? Was there a, a big weight and a small weight, or were they the same? This one has worked before, so we'll, we'll say that's good enough. And if the sun would come up, probably by 8 in the morning it's up. Oh, it's cloudy out. Okay, so, yeah, that's what's going on. Cloudy, but not rain. Where's that other tractor? He's way up in the corner, okay. A little further. There we go. Grab you. That ought to be enough to, to line him up. Yeah, that'll work. All right, you do that, and I guess I'm just going to have to toggle back a few times and find him. There he is. I'll let him finish this row, because odds are he's going to come in from a different direction and just leave this little piece here behind. And we'll send him off to that field over there and clean that up. And we'll go see how many wood chips are, are built up already. Right there. And higher. Alright, wood chips. Right there. One, two, three. There we are. 29. That's still a long way to go. Okay. Well, what do we do? Kind of scrolling through all of my tractors here. We could clean these guys up. I haven't done that in a while. Right there. Drop you off. Are you selected? Yeah. Heck, while we're waiting, we could take him on out to the sheep as well. We haven't visited the animals for a bit. In fact, we're supposed to put grass in there. That's right. You know something I wanted to experiment with? Is there any way to use the grass as bales, or do I have to do it loose? Uh, Q. In previous versions, it had to be loose. I've never verified whether or not the newest version could handle something like this. If we were to stab this guy... Let's see. Down. Before I drop it in, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now we can take this grass down here on the ground and toss it back in and it's fine. Because the cattle need grass as one of their feeds. Whoa, everything is down. Everything... Oh, I advanced it several days to get the crops done. Aha. Uh -huh. But grass is at zero. So, yeah. When you're specializing in animals, you can see how it will take an awful lot of time. I want to know if I can set this in here and have it accepted. Ooh, I can. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't register yet. That's a little worrisome. Didn't register yet. Um, probably when it rolls over at 9 a.m., Maybe what it'll take. Let's just throw another one of these in here. Right about there. Can't quite tell my height, but it seems to like it. Nope. You're going to go up. You're going to rotate. And we're going to pull back out that way. Okay. Yep, it took you too. Okay. Now, hay will be blown in there as bedding. While we're here, let's just experiment one more time. Could I do the same thing with hay? Um, let's grab the single. 
In other words, we can make the total uh, mix rations by mixing it all up and dumping it in. But is there any chance that it would accept all these things one at a time? I've never tried that before. Hey. 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 <laughs> I couldn't resist. Anyway, what happens if I do this? Not a thing. Alright, well now we know... Oh? Oh? Straw just shot up. Grass didn't. But straw went real time on us. Huh. Power food. All right. We gotta we gotta finish this experiment. And the sun's coming out. We'll go look at our road here in a minute. I need to know now what happens if we try putting a silage roll in there. Is there a faster way for the lazy farmer to feed the cows without going to all the trouble of that mixing wagon over there? That's what I want to know. It took it. Silage hay. It took it. It's still not reading grass, which is a little worrisome. Hmm. All right. Then let's just clean up the grass, dump it in, see if it registers. Look at those, those thick yellow lines. Your, your bucket hits. Are you hit again? No. Okay, you up. Spin around. Take that path one more time. In fact, for that matter, there's some grass sitting right over there. We can clean that up, too. Or not. Okay. I guess it's classified as something slightly different. This grass is a slightly different color. So it's, I guess, the kind of grass that, let's see, 9-9, nine, nine, that spills out of a feed trough. It's not the kind of grass that you mow. I don't know. There. Clean this last little bit up. We're getting close to, to 9 in the morning. But let's verify that it's still not reading grass. Okay. Now, does it read this? As grass, and does it do it real time? If so, that tells me that the uh, the bale is just not going to happen. All right, that's dumping in, and we have a little bit of grass. Okay, so hay bales and silage bales work, and grass bales do not. Now I know. Get this guy, and we'll just park him right here. And let's peek back over at, not this one. He's waiting for us. I guess that warning came up and I never heard it. I never saw it. Let's bring you around. I have to do this the hard way. Boy, that's kind of a mess. What's happened over here? Looks like he missed a sliver of a row. Alright, let's select the right one. G H G right there. U Q. Drive you forward and leave you right there. And let's bring this tipper. I didn't actually check the, the level. Yeah, he looks pretty full. Okay. Make sure there wasn't just a malfunction of some kind. There. Alright, yep, 45,000. See, 
There it is. Let's go sell this. I was wondering if I was going to need a, a weight. But I'm steering pretty good here. Doesn't seem to be lifting me up. That's right, he's on... Well, he's on two sets of wheels. We saw that last time. Now we're on three sets of wheels. I've, I've wondered about that. Trailers that have the small wheel at the very back. Is that so that when it gets to its maximum weight that it then adds more uh, you know, more, more tire below, more more support? I was... I was always wondered if, it was, if that was the case or if it was uh, like if you were taking a hill and the things were tipping and eventually they you know the, the rear small wheels would make contact but anyway I like the way that these wheels turn steer though we can't really see it here very well and I better get out here and drive this thing all right That's the, uh, the, the the dam over there. Power generation. We are on the right road, right? Yeah, I think that's the uh, the mill over there. This should be the northmost road of the map. Nope, there is one more. Okay. But here's where we drop the logs off with the train. That was fun. I had to figure out how to make that work. Though, didn't officially figure it out. I'm still driving over the tracks with my uh, tractor trying to get them onto the train to begin with. I guess one could just follow the train with the, uh, the logging equipment and just kind of load it up along the pathway, but that just feels strange to... Oh, I needed that turn over there. Well, we'll go this way. All right. So we've got to dump this over here. Right? Oh, he's over there. Okay. In that case, let's use this as a turnaround. All right. I can't see where I'm going. It's back there somewhere. I'm sure it'll be just fine. All right, if I were to try the mirrors, I'm actually aiming right into it. Oops, oops. Now, this way. Now, depth-wise, I might be there. Let's find out. Are we set to G? Uh, where am I? That's the right one. There it is, tip side back. And then I is unload. Seems to be working. Let's go out there and look at it. There it is. Money is going up. Not as much as I would expect from a dump truck this big, but it's still going up. Cross that million dollar mark again. Okay. $10,000 came in. Almost 11000 for now let's get back and get the the forge wagon going again. The forge harvester. And just like the the sugar beets I'm not going to even attempt to record it all into one episode. Or maybe even finish it. I mean really you've got a chance to see all aspects of it. Growing, harvesting, and uh, being delivered. So that's probably mission accomplished. Maybe I'll advance time now far enough to get into that oil seed radish and get that plowed. And then what's left besides field five? I think field five is probably what uh, what you and I are both looking forward to. So maybe another episode or two then we'll be into that one and probably done with this series by about episode 80. That's probably a plan. Let's get back over here and hook this all up again, and then we'll call this done. No, we do have one last thing to do. We want to see what that road looks like in the sunlight. So we'll get this going again and sneak back over there. Now, 
now. Hmm. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to follow this path rather than go back and clean things up. So, yeah, the AI doesn't do a great job on harvesting these. It's... You see how narrow the, the two little rows are, but the harvester handles one and a half of these things. And so it is going to miss some here and there. You have to go back and clean it up. So really, it's a manual job. Um, Q? No. G? There. Now I can drop this guy. Leave him behind. Just pull this over like so. And go grab this guy. Now, can I see out the back? Um, no. <laughs> I can't lean. If I hit Q and E, no, that doesn't work. What does Q do? Q dumped this. Go forward. Give me that back. There we go. Q and E on some programs will be your, your lean out or your strafe. It doesn't work here. Okay, let's back up this way. Just like so. A little more? Where are you at? Oh, I missed him. Wow, the hitbox is really small on this one. There you are. Alright, drive you forward. And something like that. Higher. There he goes. All right, no more obstacles for turning around? Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Oh, I was going to say, how is there an engine noise over here? That's because these guys are still going. At least he is. That one is down over there. Just finished. But let's get to where we can look at the road. How best? This guy right here. Let's drive out there and zoom up a little bit. So that's the idea. That's the only way that I know of to make some kind of a, of a road in this game. I wish it was a lighter color. But it is what it is. With that, I think we're going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.